Hi, hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to create a layout map in QGIS. So as you can see, this is my shape file and this is my background image which I got from uh, Bing. So the next thing is that go to the option project. From there, select new print composer and just name it. So I'm going to name it as a map and just give OK. So it says it's already exits. So I'm going to give map on and just give OK. So for, uh, this is the table column from where we are going to create our layout map. So you can see there is a option called as layout. From there, select add map. So you can select how much the area you need and just uh, drag and drop. Drag the rectangle or the size you want, area you want the map to be laid and just deselect it. And you can see the map is being loaded here. So now we have added our map. The next thing is that I'm going to add my label here. So the same thing. Where I need to place my label, I just can select it and stop it there. You can see here, just you can rename it as uh, study area. This is for just an example. From there, go to the option font. From there, a lot many options are being available. You can see I have just selected Times New Roman, and you can just select the size of the letters and just give OK. You can see here. This is my title. The next thing is that we are going to add our north arrow. So I just added my north arrow out here. So you can see there are a lot many options available here. If you need any of this option, you can just select it or just close it. So the next thing is that we are going to add our scale bar. Same thing, go to layout from the add scale bar. And you can see the scale has been added. Finally, we are going to add our legend. It will be added here. So you can see I am just using this imagery and my shape file. So you can see my layout has been prepared right now. So my layout has been created. From here, go to the option composer. And if you need to save this as an image, just go to the option export and just give name study area. So you can just select the format also. There are a lot many options available. So I'm going to go with a JPEG option and just save it. You can select the resolution and page width and page height and just give S. Save. So thank you for watching my video. Keep supporting me. Goodbye.